Media Day 2011, LSU style. All right, where do we start? Hey, we haven't been able to talk to Georgia transfer Zach Mettenberger since he arrived on campus. So how about it, Zach? How do you compare to Jordan Jefferson and Jarrett Lee? Uh, I mean, you know, I'm a little bit bigger in both of them, and, you know, my throwing abilities, I think, uh, as a pocket passer, are a little better. Uh, you know, Jordan can run a little bit better, and, you know, Jarrett throws one of the prettiest balls I've ever seen. But, uh, you know, I just think uh, what's different is just my size and what I bring to the table. Okay, fair enough. Hey, there's new offensive coordinator Greg Stadrawa. Coach, how do you avoid all those late-game mismanagement time meltdowns? We were talking about three timeouts, let's go. No timeouts, let's go. End of the game, we got to get a field goal. End of the game, we got to get a touchdown. We've been doing that now for five days. So that's how you stop those problems from happening. You do them and do them and do them and see them in practice and talk about them so that when it comes in the game, you know exactly what to do. You know exactly how to stop the clock or you know exactly how to have a play called. If it's fourth down and you can't stop the clock. Now we're all down with that. Let's stay on the offense. Steven Ridley scored three touchdowns in his NFL preseason debut. How much will the running game miss Ridley? I mean, honestly, I don't think it's really going to be that tough. I think that when the season gets away, you'll see quite a few of us um, doing some of the things that Steven did, if not more. I love the confidence, young man. Big things ahead for the sophomore out of Cincinnati. Okay, I keep hearing the same old questions. How in the world will LSU replace Drake Nevis, Kelvin Shepard, and Patrick Peterson on defense? This is, this is LSU, so you know, we, recruit, we recruit in and out. So, like I said, you know, Morris Claiborne, Darrell Simon, Ryan Brooks, those guys are going to be big names next year, so we we definitely ready for the challenge. Good answer, young man. Hey, by the way, I've heard both your first and last names pronounced several different ways. Would you look into the camera and school us all, please? Tyron Matthew, LSU cornerback. <laughs> that was for sportscasters all along the Gulf Coast. Thank you very much. This next one to defensive Coach coordinator Ryan, John Chavis. Chief, you've been a defensive coordinator in the SEC for 16 years. Even without Patrick Peterson, is this your best and deepest secondary you've ever coached? You know, uh, probably so. Uh, you know, certainly from a speed standpoint, there's no question. Uh, in terms of having guys that can go out and truly play press man and, and you're not concerned about matchups, uh, uh, I think the, by far. Wow, I wouldn't have guessed that. Interesting. And so is allowing a true freshman run with the starters at defensive tackle since day one of camp. Anthony Johnson out of O. Perry Walker didn't take it for granted. Uh, first of all, I was just thankful for that opportunity. Coach Brick put me in position to do that. I learned a lot over the spring. Uh, being with the ones was a big uh, matchup, you know, disadvantage for a lot of the offensive linemen because of my speed and my power and my size. But I just worked hard to be in that one rotation. So I'm, I'm, hope, I'm helpful and I'm thankful for having that opportunity. Coach Chavis compared playing Oregon in the opener like NASCAR starting with the Daytona 500. As for Coach Miles? The Oregon game. I just want you to know, everybody I see says, I'm already going to, to the uh, to Dallas to see you play. I'm going to Dallas to see you play. Heck, I need tickets. I just want you to know, if you know anybody that's not using their tickets, uh, send them my way. I've never used him, Coach, but I hear StubHub does a good job. As for me, I need a break. You know, after a couple hours of media day, you start to lose your focus. We've talked offense, we've talked defense, done the interviews, and we've talked about Oregon starts to become the same old song and dance. Well, kinda. Chris Davenport, Anthony Johnson, can you help me out? It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know, I know a change gonna come. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That's all y'all get right there. <laughs> well done, fellas. Media day is great, but let's play some football. From Baton Rouge, I'm Eric Ritchie, CST Tonight.